Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Isaac or Isaac Builds and today I'm going to be showing you a few Halloween decorating ideas that you can use uh, for your house or property on Bloxburg. So yeah, I know it is coming up on 31st, but you still got two days. So here's the last minute Halloween decoration ideas. So yeah, let's do this. So number one, you can just use literally all the trees we have. So actually, you know, a matter of fact, uh, replace whatever trees you have that are the regular tree, which is, by the way, the rough tree. Um, you can also replace them with the spooky tree because I feel like that's a lot more Halloween related. So that's going to be pretty cool. Of course, it is a tiny bit pricey, so don't overspend your money with that. But just do what you can and you will eventually end up with a pretty good looking yard uh, with these trees. And if you don't have like all the things, you can just like paint this. You can just paint the trees the same color because it's pretty much the same thing and you know Halloween's coming up so we're just gonna paint all these bushes red because it's really spoopy and um, uh, mysterious and yeah it's Halloween okay a matter of fact we might as well have these in alternating range so basically we're gonna have like one one spooky tree one regular tree and then we're just gonna keep repeating this process until it looks pretty pretty darn scary so we're gonna do this and do that so that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna do and then the second thing we are gonna do is a spider web because that's pretty cool and we're gonna add two of them so you can place them on any wall but i'll recommend in areas that make sense like near plants or landscape or even in like ditches so like we can place them like right here by the uh, garage because that seems pretty spooky and scary so yeah that's pretty good and all and actually, I have another idea uh, to use the window decal for the front windows because that's going to make your house set for Halloween, okay? And when I mean set, I mean set, okay? So go to the thing and then you just kind of want to like uh, choose, choose, choose a thing and then use it. If you already have custom blinds, get rid, whoops, get rid of them and then you just want to add the curtains. That way it really sets the scene for whatever is happening. And then you just want to make it look great. It's just going to look so good for Halloween, to be honest. And this way, it's Halloween themed. So yeah, that's that. Another idea you could do is adding spooky bushes. So we can just add them right along the front because that's going to be that. Uh, we can also add like a gloomy lantern in some areas. We can do that on here. Add a coffin. And... I would recommend putting the coffin in like a secluded area, meaning that it's away from like a pathway or something because like usually coffins, they aren't really meant to be like right in the way of like walkways. So just kind of place it somewhere in the middle of the yard. That really just adds a lot more range from it. It just seems a lot, a lot more, um, I don't know, respected, more spooky. I, can, I can't really think of anything besides scary and spooky as in description word to use to describe this. Halloween themed video <laughs> All right, so the next idea to use is to obviously add pumpkins Okay, a house wouldn't be complete without like any pumpkins. Okay, so you just got to keep adding them like pretty much anywhere uh, Maybe in the front as well. I don't really know uh, We're actually gonna add a pumpkin here uh, Oh, yeah, by the way guys a small tip uh, put your placement to small grid placement because Sorry, hold on I'm gonna copyright for that. Okay, so anyways, another small tip to do is to make it small placement instead of regular placement because that's gonna be a lot help uh, a lot more helpful for you. So that's gonna be that. Uh, okay, we're just going to add this and that, and uh, then once you do that, you want to get a regular miniature pumpkin, and then you want to place it around here. It is only fifty bucks, and it's just really cute and tiny, so you can use it. It just looks a lot more better. Um, so yeah, you can also add regular tabletop pumpkins that just makes the house look a lot more decorative and just overall, let's play some jack-o'-lanterns like pretty much in a lot of places. So yeah, but you do want to add, um, one, you do want to add a set of pumpkins to the front door because it's the front door and it's Halloween. You want your trees to be spooked out. So that's going to be an important one, but don't add too much because in this situation, I'm doing this modern house that I built for my friend like a couple months ago, so that's going to be blocked. We're at, actually, we're just going to set it right there because why not? And then this way, we can do that, and then... Bro, this looks set for Halloween. This looks... This is looking super nice. I need to stop being annoying. 
Oh yeah, also adding skulls is also a pretty important aspect of like Halloween. So just add like a couple of skulls here and there. Uh, it is a tiny bit pricey for Halloween decorations, but it is pretty good looking. And it is going to be all worth it, so that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, just add some more pumpkins everywhere, because why not? And you want to add like a scarecrow in a distance, maybe like one or two of them. So yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. And then we're just going to add... What should we add next? I mean, I don't really know what to, else to add. I mean, a giant inflatable ghost? That just kind of looks tacky. I just like... That looks way too weird for Halloween, so we're just going to cancel that. Uh, should we do a witch? I think we should do a witch. Actually, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna add a few ghosts, like, by the trees. Okay, um... Okay, any new things in here? Well, just besides the landscaping things. Okay, yeah, no. We're gonna go to the decoration tab. To be honest, I don't know what else to add. I mean, that's pretty much all I have to do for Halloween. Um, I mean, in the inside, you can pretty much do the exact same thing, but just in corners, on tables, kitchen counters, pretty much anywhere that doesn't obstruct a pathway or a natural walkway that's supposed to be open. Uh, you can literally do anything, like a cornucopia, that's pretty cool. Um, but, you know, for this request, I'm only doing the outside of the build, so that's just gonna be exterior ideas. But anyways, um, you can also add giant inflatable pumpkins if you're into that. I mean, I'm not really into that, but I guess I'm gonna add just one only. Actually, you know what? I think there should be more on this side because, to be honest, this side's pretty empty. And just to be, like, all set, we're just going to add, like, a couple of chairs because that's a pretty cool idea. Like, especially if it's, like, a coffin or the Day of the Dead or something like that. Um, it should be, like, rusty, you know? It should be, like, really sad and depressing, so we're just gonna add that. It adds a really nice effect to it, and it's just like, wait, that's pretty creepy. A random table out of the middle of nowhere. So yeah, we're just going to add that, and then we're just going to uh, do that. And you know what, I think we should do like a couple of more chairs, because why not? Uh, we're just going to have a couple of chairs in a distance. <laughs> That's going to be pretty spooky indeed. So uh, yeah, and you know what, we should actually paint this as well. You guys don't know what this is, but it is going to be something, so um, yeah. And to be honest, I think we're actually done. Um, yeah, that was the Halloween idea. That was the Halloween's I that was the Halloween ideas list. Uh, you can use these ideas if you want. Uh, you don't have to, but they do look pretty awesome. Uh, they are looking pretty spooky indeed. And to be honest, I just think that they're really nice looking. And uh, these are some ideas that you can implement into your own builds. And that's actually pretty much all I got to do for this video. That is it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you guys all in the next video. As I think I just said, I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, have a happy Halloween, and yeah, goodbye. <laughs>